Okay, so the program's been, I've remade the program. Um, now it's actually done a lot better. This is three mil deep. I'm not sure how deep I'm going to be able to go with this. So I might actually just cut a corner of this out on the bandsaw um, just to see how deep or how much material I've got. So I can see how deep I can go reliably without it going through. Um, and then I can make some more adjustments the program. Next point will be actually starting to machine the slot out. Okay, so the rotor up, I've now sort of finished the program out on it. Um, from milling out the corners. I have done a slot inside to see how much material I can get away with. So that is a, with a three mil depth of cut. So I'm probably not gonna go any more than two mil because that is getting very thin right there. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not gonna go any thinner than two, mm, two, two maybe. Um, because on other castings it might be even thinner than what that already is. But now the next point is what I'm doing is sorting out my bolt plate to go on an angle plate like that for milling out the apex seal slots to run deeper um, apex seals. So this is pretty much the setup I'm going to use for milling out the um, apex seals. So I was hoping I was going to use a milling cutter to cut out a slot, but it turns out we, wow, to get one deep enough, it's going to be an absolute pain in the ass. So I'm going to be mounting it sideways, rotating the jig 90 degrees, mounting it sideways, clock this point here, or clock it by using a um, slip, two mil slip or something like that, or build up of slips to get to pretty much on the tolerance. Um, and then using a sling saw to come through the gap, which hopefully two mil, it should hopefully cut dead on, which is literally uh, like a few microns above top of bottom limit. So that'll work a treat. But pretty much same jig, I've got a bolt hole put in there now so it drains out with coolant and I did put it here but I need to bring up a little bit so what I might do is might make a little spacer to bring it out so then the nut will sit about, just sit about bearish and clamp through all of that but I might actually just fucking slot it and move it up a bit or something. Yeah but otherwise it's pretty much what it's going to be so um, tomorrow it will be programming that up and machining that out and then I'll try and do a full run on one of these side of these rows on the back side and then doing the slot because yeah that's a bit too deep but it was nice to have fire found out though. Found out. So I ended up, end up measuring what the slot is. Now how they say is by using the apex seal with a feeler, um, with a 0.1 feeler um, and then you get your, your sort of tolerance. So at the moment the slot's actually just above bottom limit tolerance. Um, that measures at basically 1.998-ish millimetres. This slit and saw is one point, it ranges from 1.98 something to 1.998. So this, I should just be able to use the slit and saw and get the perfect tolerance for the apex seal. Um, and I'll be taking a depth from six and a half mil up to two mil above what the RX-7 apex seals are, which is 8.5. So, well, two mil up from that, so, what, 10, 10 and a half, something like that. Um, hopefully it works out. Okay, so what I've had to do is set it up on two parallels underneath this, pushing this whole lot up, because otherwise, because of the head of the machine, I'm gonna twat this and this will clout it. So, um, cause the, the blade I'm using is tiny. Um, it, you could say, oh, I'll get a longer thingy or fucking wider blade or whatever, but, then you put vibration into it and yeah, you don't want to. So what we're gonna do is just, it turns out this is fine here, so I'm just gonna to have to notch out an area here. Um, probably just mark the back of this and notch it out here um, because I've still got a clamping point there or so. Annoyingly, I'll put that hole in there, which I eh, didn't need, but oh well. Um, so I'm just gonna to have to fucking mark this and notch it out on the mill in a sec. Um, and then we'll finally get to machine out the um, apex of slots. Okay, I'm not going to film all of this, so yeah, I've notched it out, I've just put it on the band, so I notched it. I've got the clearance now for getting the cutter through here. Uh, this is bolted in place. I'm just, I've, what I've done is clocked up against this edge. I'm clocking this edge for the X, that's, so that's going to be my X zero point. Um, and then I'm probably going to do the back face of this um, for cutter reasons, and then yeah, 
Uh, so the cut will just go down, we come from this side through, and uh, just keep doing that. Um, so I'm gonna carry on setting this up, and uh, we'll see. What I've had to do is check on the cutter and clock it, which means I've had to move it up a little bit. So it's a bit better now. It's got a run out of 05 that way. So I'm hoping the slot's going to direct it into place and it's not going to cut oversized. If it does, I'm going to have to get a slightly smaller cut. But again, I've got three corners to try on this. Um, so what I'm going to do is use a bit of Rizla with the tool up there um, to clock set my Z, um, everything else is set now, uh, yeah, actually no, I probably should check settings, actually I will, I will double check my X, Y, and then I'll set my Z, um, before I do anything, and then, yeah, it'll be runtime. So I'm going to set the GoPro, try the GoPro in here, and, uh, be the time lapse. Okay, on some delays, I have found a blade that is actually a little bit thinner now, because this was measuring well over size. Um, so I found a thinner blade, but quite a bit thinner, but annoyingly it's a bit bigger one down there. So I've just made a second one up, or made a new one up to hold this bit bigger blade. So I'm gonna get that mounted up now, get that reset, and we will try it again for doing the slot. Basically, I'm just gonna cut that all the way through, and then we're gonna put up the rotor. Okay, so the rotor has been modified. I've modified to a different cutter. Um, so I think it's time to just do our there you go, Ooh, might be able to see that. The slots line up pretty good, so I think it's time just to send it and run it. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm not too sure on depths of cuts with this disc, so we shall see. If it sounds too fucking heavy, that'll be it, really, to be honest. Um, if not, it, ah, we'll, we'll just see how it's going to go. Just get this bolted up in place and then get this running.
Okay, so this slot worked perfectly. Um, the, the finish in that slot, I cannot complain about, is absolutely excellent. It is now the 9.8 mil deep it needs to be. Now, I have a set of slips here, which is 204. And it is perfect. That is, no, not 204, that is 203, I believe, actually. Yeah, 203, because 204 was a stamp fit. Now, if I do what Mazda's manual says, which is apex seal in there, and then get a set of feelers. Now, they say a bottom tolerance will be 0.04 something, and top tolerance is 0.15. Now, this is a 0.1. Now, this is a 0.1 feeler and I might need two hands to do this oh no there we go oh fuck it just oh what to do so combine them there we go it is you're gonna there we, there we go there we go and that is snug that is a snug fit so I'm gonna say it's mid limit at the moment um, I might be able to true that up a little bit more so it cuts better and also get the height on the next one dead dead perfect because if I get the height dead perfect it might actually cut smaller so I'm happy with this set up I'm going to try again and see how the next one comes out okay so I don't think I'm going to get any better or any more accurate than that um, that is a 2.04 mil slip and it's not even going in fully deep so <laughs> fuck um, that's spot on. Unless I get a slightly smaller blade or try and clock this up or something, it's not gonna get any tighter. But 2.04 is not bad actually. Top limit's like 2.09 or 2.1, something like that. Um, so I'm happy with how that's come out. That's done, that's all set up now. So I was hoping to sort out doing the housings this week, but that's gonna be a next week next week thing, starting the machine the housings. Um, or doing all the prep work and machine the housings and whatnot and then at some point we'll just whip through these rotors um, on a time lapse or something or other but that's pretty much that set that is three mil deep as well and I end up doing a slot out of it to see how much material is left there's not much so I'm probably not going to go any more than two mil deep um, for these lightning corners and then that is the slot done that is nine and a half mil deep two mil or two and a half mil um, from the apex hill back is described on the RX-8 as well as the RX-7s so that's the slot done um, to tolerance as well very nicely and it's cut a very clean edge which I am happy with so yeah so I'm very pleased how these slots have come out um, no not that side that side there we go um, very very clean cut nice tight tolerance on them as well They've not wandered. Those two have come up very, very nice. Um, I might see if I can find a little bit smaller slitting saw so I can get even more tighter of a tolerance in the slots. But I'm happy with how they are. They've come out, especially along with the uh, lightning part there. That program on that. Um, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. <sighs> Next episode, we'll be hopefully touching the. Um, housings and start machining the housings but we shall see about that so yeah <sighs> till the next episode